My name is Brain of Terror and I'm an NSO at Dublin Roller Derby. In this video I'm going to look at penalty tracking with the scoreboard. So you'll presumably be using a tablet for this, so you will navigate to so whatever the address is, so probably something 192.168, uh, 8000, get to this view and click penalty tracking. In the event you have a very small device, um, so by default if you try to pinch zoom it is disabled because that causes problems normally um, and isn't what you want to do. If you want to enable it, you can click on one of the team names and go. But I'm not using a touch screen here, I'm using a computer because, well, this is a demo video. So if we assume that there are some skaters selected, you'll notice that whether it's even put in by the lineup tracker or a scoreboard operator, you can see your jammer, your pivot, and any blockers will be a slightly lighter green as well, helping you figure out which is which. So we'll just start the jam. And let's say that black four gets a penalty. So you click on the box, and which type of penalty is it? Oh, it's a back block. And that's there. Grand. You'll notice it's underlined and bold. So if I say, yes, a head block as well, and we stop the jam. And start a new jam, you'll notice that they are no longer underlined, meaning it's not part of the current jam. So we'll just put in some more numbers. So maybe they get to start under jam, yep, I got a few more penalties. When they get to five, you'll notice it will go yellow. Six will go orange, and at seven, it's a foul out. In which case, as per the you know, penalty tracking paperwork, you mark it as foul out. If you need to adjust the penalty, so say that black five got one, you can go in here and say, actually, no, that was a legal contact. Actually, I wasn't sure what penalty that was, but I know there was one, so that's an unknown. Hopefully it can be sorted out. If you need to change the period number or the jam number, you can press these button here and then set period jam. Oh, actually, no, that was, that was in jam two. Uh, if there is an expulsion, so let's say there is an expulsion for a head block, then as per the usual paperwork, that is a head block expulsion. There are spots for up to nine penalties here. Um, the other thing then is that if we go into period two, we just may just jump forward. If we're in period two, you'll notice that any penalties now are no longer bold, indicating they're from the previous period. There is also a count of the total number of penalties up here and per skater, because your head and so will want that for the IGRF. Um, uh, something else then, just to be aware of, is when you click here, you'll notice there's this serve button. And uh, what that is, is the scoreboard is smart enough to be able to track where penalties are served. And over here in settings, I have assume penalty served. Basically, if you do not have lineup trackers, you want assume penalty served. Um, if, however, uh, so that you know it, the scoreboard doesn't track whether or not people have sat, because you don't have lineup trackers doing that. If for some reason a penalty isn't served, like it happens across periods or whatnot, you can manually undo that, and it will be marked until you manually put it back in, but this largely only applies when you have lineup trackers. So that's a setting. If you do not have lineup trackers, make sure assume penalty served. The other thing, if you want to delete a penalty, you can just click it and press delete and delete as well. So those are the basics then of how to do penalty tracking with the scoreboard.